I'm Siren Sage, so it probably doesn't seem like it, but I actually made an error in my last video. I had got to chapter 5, or phase 5, um, twins, and I had actually hit the wrong button when I was in the middle of recording, and I unfortunately caused myself to lose the entire video I was doing. It wouldn't have been so bad losing the video if it wasn't for the fact that um, me losing that video cost me a lot of precious time because <sighs> how do I explain this I had two different save files one that was the main save file I was using for this playthrough and one that I was using to mess around with on my own free time because um, I want to try to upload these slowly but at the same time I want to try to go through this game quickly but at the same time I made a backup and it's a good thing that I did because I the last save file was on chapter 3, and I had made it all the way to 5 in the main save file. Uh, not only did I miss several ghost images, but I went back and replayed through the last two chapters just now, and I was able to get the ones that I had missed. So not only did I get the ones that I missed, but I also had to replay all the way through the chapters to get back to where I was previously. So my other three videos before this are fine, but I had to actually replay through all of that again, off camera, on my own free time. And like I said, it kind of, it kind of did suck. So I don't know where my the last video left off, which would be let's see, part five, six, seven. I think it would have been part seven. Um, I left off trying to get a picture of the doll right there on the stairs. I'm pretty sure that's where I left off at. So currently, um, we're just going through stuff now, so let me go ahead and save, because in the last video, I lost a lot of stuff. You can see where I'm at, where it says phase 5 twin faces. That's where I am, but I'm going to override that because that doesn't make any sense, so I'm actually overriding it right now, because that was old and I screwed that up. So I guess save data 01 will be my backup. Save data 00 is the main one for the playthrough. So now we're back on track. I have the exact same uh, types of everything that I had. So we need to go in here and we need to do this again because I'm a little confused myself um, because that video was lost. I'm trying to remember how much of it is lost. <laughs> Because to me, I, I've already done this, but like I said, because that video was lost, um, it doesn't exist anymore. So I'm basically having to remember what it is I had done. It's gonna take me a little while. <laughs> the case has been lifted! I try to say that every time I do it, but I am actually frustrated with this. I can't pretend that I'm not. I really am frustrated with this. Um, because I had to replay back through two entire chapters that I had already had done. All because I made a screw up um, and I was trying to... Because we came, we were playing as uh, Misaki and we pick up a film reel in Ayako's room and you need to go back to the dining hall to play it and then she gets attacked by Madoka. And I was right in front of the dining hall getting ready to go in there to do that and what had happened was, you, the touchpad on the PS4 controller brings up this menu, and I was going to load and restart the, the previous save because I had missed a ghost circle, and because I had saved right before I went to it, I was like, okay, I guess I can go back and try to redo that one. Um, and me, I'm so used to hitting other buttons normally when I'm not recording, and I hit my share button which ended the video. Anybody who has a PS4 knows that when you hit the share button again, it will delete the video that you got. Uh, you have a chance to save it for a split second because when you hit share, it brings up a menu. Oh, like to, it, it brings up a menu with either broadcast, um, gameplay, save screenshot, or save video, and there's a couple other options in that menu. And... I'm trying to pop my back. Um... I had brought it up by accident because I was trying to bring up this menu 
And I thought that that was the button for it. And of course it wouldn't be the button for it. Why would they program it like that when that's the button you push to record videos with? Um, because for me, if you push it once, I can screenshot stuff, but if I double tap it, that's how I record that. And double tapping the share button gives me an option. Like, it starts a video by itself. If you double tap it, it'll automatically start recording. And that's what I have my settings set to. And I basically screwed it all up. So, I know I've already done this, but because that video got deleted because I hit the wrong button, it doesn't exist anymore, so you haven't seen this, so now I have to reread these again. So, new bo uh, building, uh, third floor status, end of July, room 308, Silent Moon, Yomosuke Ruka, that's us. So, notes, we have been asked to report the results of Ruka's musical therapy report. I report the progression of, moon, of her Moonlight Syndrome symptoms to the director, as well as which moon sounds she responds to. Room 309, Faded Moon, Magaki Ayuko or Magaki. I, I remember saying the exact same thing. I was like, is it Magaki or Magaki? I think it's Magaki. That's how I would say it. So, um, Yuko is her first name. Magaki is last name or his. Um, so, a generous donor to the facility. He gets upset if you enter his room while he is painting. So please avoid doing so if possible. Also, never touch his paintings or he'll go ballistic. So room 310, Waning Moon, uh, Misaki Aso. Misaki is receiving special treatment directly from director Haibara uh, Shigato. I'm, I'm, no, I, I think doctor, when they say doctor um, Haibara, I think that's Shigito. When they say director, that might be you. I don't think it's you. No, I think that's his father. I think it's I think it's Shigeto. Um, she's quite delicate, so do not let her make contact with the patient on the fourth floor. Whatever that means. I think you're talking about that girl. I think that is what that is. The, the black-haired uh, girl that, that that's all in black that she always sees. So, room 311, Waxing Moon, Sendo Kagiri. So, Kagiri is being treated by the director in conjunction with her family doctor. Do not enter her special treatment room except for in an absolute emergency. Okay, so now I need to put this in. I believe it was like, um, one, nine, oh God, I think it was one, nine, five, or something like that. Yeah. Ruka. So this is a different nurse. I think this is the special nurse that had treated for Ruka. Or treated her, but I don't know how true that is. And I hope there wasn't anything else on the other side that I missed. Doesn't look like it. Because I would hate to have to replay through this shit again. Because I, I make in errors. It is a little frustrating when this happens, but there's really nothing I can do about it. So we have to just deal with it, you know. So this is the, that lock code that I put in was for this door. Cutscene. I am frustrated though. <laughs> okay. I feel it coming back when the music plays. Buried piece of my memories rises up. I know this place somehow. That's our room. Like a familiar scent. Okay, and then it ends there. So now we're getting closer to the part where I screwed up. I don't know how much of the video I had lost. I don't think I had lost very much. Because part 7 pretty much ended when I was trying to take a picture of the doll on the stairs. And I was like, where is she? Isn't she, like, right here? Um, so I think what I'm going to do is, like I said, from now on, I'm going to keep this backup file. 
That way, when I make errors like that, I'll be able to go back and fix it. That's what I'm gonna do from now on. So now we're going back to Miseki for Chapter 5, Twin Faces. I think before it was called the Master Pair, so they already changed these. So originally in the last video, I had read the summary of what it was because they also have been changing a lot of stuff with this game. Like, the summary passages aren't the fucking same um, at all. So, let me read to you what the original Wii version is. So it's Chapter 2 Resonance. And it, and it says, While searching Rogetsu Hall, Misaki meets a girl in black clothes whom she has met before in dreams. Come back to Rogetsu Island. In quotations, because that's the girl saying it. Then Misaki wants to know more about her connection to this girl. Led by the girl's image, Misaki arrives at a room. Ten years ago, this was Madoka's hospital room. She knew all of the girls involved that were kidnapped, who were hospitalized in the institute or visited it regularly. They came to be treated for an epidemic disease, the Luna Sedata Syndrome, but they also changed the name for the remake. They don't call it Luna Sedata Syndrome anymore, they call it Moonlight Syndrome. I also don't know why they changed the name. Like, the remake, a remake version, which is what this is, they changed a lot of what the characters say. A lot of the names and stuff were switched around. And I'm not sure why, but originally it was called Luna Sedata, or Sedata. I think it's Sedata. Luna Sedata Syndrome. Caught up in memories, she does not notice that she's been separated from Madoka, and then she's like, Madoka, where's Madoka? Um, then it turns into that. And now let's read what the, what the remake version says. So the summary of the remake says, While exploring Rogetsu Hall, Misaki Aso comes across the girl in black. The same girl who appears in her fragmented memories, as were in the original Wii version, it says dreams. So calling her back to Rigetsu Isle. Misaki desperately wants to find out the connection between the girl and herself. Following the girl through the darkness, she arrives at a room. The room where Madoka was hospitalized ten years ago. Misaki discovers that all five girls who disappeared were patients of the Rogetsu Hall Sanatorium. They were being treated for Moonlight Syndrome, as before I said Luna Sedata Syndrome, a condition unique to Rugetsu Isle. While looking for Madoka, Misaki starts to remember the events of ten years ago. She's a Madoka, where's Madoka? So, while lost in thought, she actually got separated from her, because she was wandering and following the girl. Because the girl that she follows, or is following, only she can see her, nobody else can. So, she was like secretly following that girl around. The whole time. That's not her saying that, by the way. So that's phase five twin faces. So originally, the original chapter, it wasn't called twin faces. It was actually called um, the master pair. So... I never really paid attention to it before, but they did rename some of the chapters. Some of the chapters up until this point have been the same so far. I think this is the only chapter that's different, but like I said, I haven't been really paying attention. But I think it is. Also, that shadow silhouette right there on the wall is Madoka. I need to find Madoka. So let me pick up this stone mirror with her because she doesn't have one and I got one-shotted in one of my other videos. So this is like a phoenix down that will protect you if you get one-shotted, which is what happened to me. It's a troll dog. Okay. So... That nurse came and shouted at me again, going on and on about something or other. When she turned away from me, I cut her a little, and she made the ugliest noise. <laughs> yeah, that itch is ugly on the inside, too. I hate her guts. I, I remember originally saying I can't believe they actually put that in the game. It's funny that Koei actually put that word bitch in their video, like, in their game. I personally don't care. 
I'm a 30 year old adult and I think the word is just a word. People get offended by that type of shit. I personally don't because it, for me it, it sets a mood. It basically says exactly how the character feels about another character and it actually says how much they, they hate them. Like it's like a freedom of speech type of deal. And it's, uh, to me it's just her saying how much she doesn't like her. So. Ugly things upset me. I like beautiful things. Same. Squashed insects, cut hands, meet uh, wet with red. The loud noise they make just before they stop moving. Beautiful things that last only a moment. Everyone collects things that they like and takes care of them. The doctors say collecting things is like good for my sickness. It'll make me better. So I collect beautiful things. More and more beautiful things. I have to keep collecting them or else my insides, the rest is incomprehensible. It's like that one song. How beautiful things find my place in the sun. Better not sing that. That song's copyrighted. Anyway, um... Alright, let me take a look at what she has. Because like I said, my items don't carry over from character to character. So, we see... Let's see, we can do charge. Um, let's give her a charge. So, we need to follow that girl. So what we need to do is go to leave, and then she'll call you into that room. That's like the grudge sounding room for where my last video, well, we went there with Ruka. <laughs> Have you forgotten? I think she's cute, but that's just me. So, I believe you follow her over there, that girl, is there something there? Um, I think you get stuck having to fight, uh, Ayako in that tiny room. It's ridiculous. I noticed another thing too, like, I was able to, um... I was able to get an outfit with, for Ruka, but I remember trying to look for Madoka and they didn't give me one for her. But I did go back and get the ghost circles that I had missed previously, so I don't know if that's going to change. So this is the grudge room. I call it that because this fucking sound is oppressive. So originally I was trying to get a thing and I couldn't find it and I thought it was in that light fixture and it's in this one. Hold on. She can't see it. I need to back her up. Should be red crystal. Okay. Yeah, so I believe you're gonna have to fight her in here. What happened? Who is that woman outside? Why is her face all messed up? Help me, you. I remember making a joke about this. Like, it sucks that whole video got lost, so I'm having to reenact everything, but it's not really the same now, because, like, the moment's already long gone and long past, but I remember saying when it was like, help me, yo, I was like, it just reminds me of Nine from Final Fantasy Type-0. He's a blonde character with a spear who has hair kind of like Cloud Strife, but not really. People say he's like Cloud, but he really isn't, but, um... He, he says that in the game, where every time, everything he says, he ends the, his sentences with yo, and it's like a trope, so every time I hear that, that's the, that's who I think of, he's the only character I know who says that, so, it's so noisy outside, a face like a smashed egg, a face like a squashed butterfly, a face like an open belly, it's such a messed up face, what is it, after I saw the face inside my head, it is noisy, what? I'll wait here, smashed, wait until I get messed up, torn. Mate, mate. Mate, okazu. I remember saying that originally. I was like, why am I reading it in Japanese? But that's what I did the first time, so I'm doing it again. I need to, um, touch this door. The door is being held by a powerful power. <laughs> So you go to the doll. 
You do fight Ayako in here, but it's when you come back. I'm pretty sure it's when I come back. So this is Ayako's room. I don't understand why it's all grudgy in there. I don't know what the hell that is. I think they just tried to do it as a troll. This is the doll from the photo. Found a rusty old key. Like I said, I didn't get very far before I screwed up that video. And I winded up losing the whole thing all because I hit the wrong button. And like I said, I'm annoyed because I had to replay through two whole chapters just to get back here to where I am now. So I think I might take another break again for a while. Because th this has stressed me out a bit. A lot of my other videos are also about four or five days behind. So I have to edit those before these. Um, but I do want to try to go through this game quickly, as I've said, because I only have about a week and then I have to go get some teeth pulled. And I have to get four of them out. And no, they're not my wisdom teeth. It's four other teeth that are not great. Um, why, one is a wisdom on my upper, upper left. And then I have one next to it. So I have two on my upper left and two on my upper right. But the one on the right isn't a wisdom. It's it's one that was pulled but grew back and wasn't supposed to and it started decaying and the tooth completely decayed away and the root is still inside my gum line. So my gum line has to get torn open so that they can pull it out and then I'm going to have him take the one next to it. So that's where those teeth are from. So I'm going to be in a lot of pain. Well, maybe, I don't know. But I, I, can, I probably won't be able to talk too well because I think I'm going to have stitches on the upper right. I know for a fact I am because he has to open up the entire gum line to get the root out. Um, and I'm not going to be able to talk too well. And, you know, I, and then when you get your teeth pulled, you have all that blood in your mouth and shit. And you taste blood for like a whole fucking week straight. So, I kind of want to try to get through this as fast as I can before then. Because this game is actually short. This isn't a really long game. And I have some friends that have never seen this game before. They don't know shit about it. Um, and it's to be expected since this game was never released outside of Japan years ago. It was released on the Wii in 2008 in Japan only. You could only get it if you imported it and used an English patch which you have to download offline onto a jump drive and put it into your console to get the patch to work. It was really convoluted. Um, that's how a friend of mine did it and that's how I was able to play it. But I only ever got to play through a couple chapters, like the beginning chapters and then the ending chapter where Ruka finds her father and she's like, you're the mask maker. And he's like, behold my moon tower. Um, but <sighs> it's a long ways before we get there. So I'm not going to worry about it right now. But I need to change my lens because I have to fight her. <laughs> When they bud, they get more aggressive. She's behind me. Fuck. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. she sounds like a cow originally that didn't happen to me she didn't bud what the hell yeah originally that didn't happen on the video that I had lost that didn't happen that's really bizarre because that did not happen originally Something has appeared in the photo. Large object shrouded in cloth. Oh my eye. 
Ugh. Hold on, let me rub my eye for a minute. <laughs> Okay. My fucking right eye kept itching so bad. Photo of a crowd watching a film on the projector in the dining hall. Alright, so let me read this for a moment. I put the footage of the Kagura together, making sure to cut out all the parts where I was in frame. I remember reading this really funnily. I don't think anyone would notice me unless they were looking very carefully. But it'd be a nuisance if he found out about me. I've kept the film for Ayako to enjoy. But if she gets bored of it, he'll just destroy it like I was supposed to. I remember reading it like that because it's funny. I didn't hold it, I mean it did. I asked Ayako about the girls in the files. Of the ones she knows, she says her favorite is Madoka because she makes for a lovely toy. So beautiful on the inside. Like, I remember reading it like that. It's funny. <laughs> it gets hella weird, watch. The one called Ruka is apparently so broken that it's no fun for Ayako to try to break her any further. Like, what? She's receptive to sound, so there might be still time to try a few things out on her. Like, what the fuck? This sounds horribly wrong out of context. Like, think about that. Just listen to this out of context. Like, cl close your eyes and just listen to me say this. She's so receptive to sound, so there might still be time to try a new few things out on her. Like, what the hell? There are still the ancient moon sounds of this island. Wonder what would happen if she heard those. It's rather difficult to convert the old scores into modern form, but it might help us determine that one phrase. With the Misaki girl, it's not so much her sharp perception, but her totally unpredictable behavior that Ayako dislikes. But apparently Ayako doesn't like the girl in black who's always together with Misaki. Seems she's got in the way of Ayako playing with her toys. In any case, Misaki has the same spiritual potential as my big sister. This girl, this body will be useful. Like, oh my god, some fucking spiritual trapment happening. I'm missing something. If it's still glowing blue, I think there's a doll in here, right? Mmm. Shit. Uh. So I'm having to do this all from memory. I don't really remember too well. Was there a doll in here? Yes. Doll has been missing. All right. Not only that, I am frustrated because I feel like I'm getting a little si a little sick again. Like since yesterday and the day before that, my throat's been acting up again, and there's really nothing I can do about it. I have a hard time getting rid of viruses once I get them, and I think that's what's happening. So now we have to go downstairs again. So we need to go to the dining hall, and like I said, you're gonna get attacked by Madoka. So here's where I screwed up the save. The original video, I get to right here, and I screw it up. But reason what happened was, is right before I get to the door, there's this guy in Japanese who starts talking to me. But originally, I had heard it in English. When I got close to the door, I heard a voice say, don't go in that room and I was like huh because there's not English in this game and it caught me off guard so bad that I wanted up hitting the wrong button and losing the entire hour of video that I had it was fucking so stupid let me see if they give me a costume for her they still haven't you get the purple glasses though I'm gonna buy the purple glasses they won't give me an outfit for her, maybe in the next chapter. 
That's one another thing I don't understand. How is it that I was able to unlock an outfit for um, Ruka, but not one for her? I probably should have used that on medical, not these, but whatever. Let's go ahead and just make a backup save here. Because we're going to have to fight Madoka um, coming up, and it's pretty absurd. She's not a tough boss, but she attacks you out of nowhere. Um, really violently, like it's a cutscene, and then as soon as it ends, she literally just jumps you. It's like, holy fuck. Okay. Now listen very carefully when I get to this door. It sounds like a man in English saying, don't go in that room. Yeah. I heard it the very first time, but now that I hear it again, I guess I guess it kind of doesn't sound like that. But you can hear him whispering. They be whispering to me, trying to tell me more lies than we need. I feel like I'm missing a lens for her. What the holy shitty yak. Yeah, right. Yeah, because we're going on a huge mission here with Miseki. And it's going to get hard as we go along. So I'm going to try to go through it a little slow. But I don't want to go through it too slow that it becomes painful to watch. But like I said, I have some friends that are new to this game. They've never played it, never seen it. And I'm I am basically a vessel for them to see the game. So I kind of want to try to give them as much experience as I can. Good, look at them fucking sitting there. Look at them, they're freaks. Look at them, look at me, watching everything that I see. Holy sh- okay. Alright, let's hope I don't mess this up. Alright, yeah, my throat's just a little sore here and there, like the mucus and stuff. I don't know what it is. Like, I was sick last month for like a whole week and a half. I got rid of it and then it started to come back and it really does feel like I am sick. I don't know. I can't seem to shake the virus, whatever the hell it is. Like, it goes away for like a week or two and then it comes right back. So, I honestly don't know what it is. But I'll tell you one thing, it's fucking annoying as shit. It really is. Because it screws up my voice. That's why sometimes when I go to talk, my voice will be fine. But then it starts to sound like this. But it sounds like it's me talking like that. But it's my voice doing it by itself. I mean, I have the ability to talk like that if I wanted to. But it don't sound great. Alright, I think I need to approach it from this other side. Because I'll... Huh? There's something over there. I'll be able to get a better reach on her, because she doesn't attack you quite yet, but I want to go see if I can pick up some items. Because this is Misaki's first time being in here. Originally, you come here as Ruka. So, as of now, Misaki has never been inside the dining hall. Like, she's never been in here, so... You could kind of walk around, look at stuff. Fucking modern art with trees and birds. Because that's what your objective is, where you see how it says check the footage on the film reel, but before that it was find Madoka. I think that that is still your primary objective, is, is to find Madoka. I'm trying to get it to... what should I do? Should I give it to charge, or should I build it? So I want to try to give it to max power, which increases her damage against ghosts. I think I kind of want to save it for that. I don't want to waste it on stupid shit, so... Maybe I'll let it build. Alright. So, we're gonna have a cutscene here. The projector. Should be able to play the film reel. Yes! So this is that Kagura dance. This looks familiar. her. It's Madoka. Yes. 
I was watching the Kagura with everyone. And I was taken away. is lying or the ghost disappeared. Found a note. I wonder if Misaki was able to find her special friend, the one who she was talking about when we were young. I think I knew, even then. I knew that I was just a plaything, taking the place of her special friend. I knew when I went to live with Misaki and her family that I was nothing more than a replacement. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Misaki was always so afraid of remembering her friend. So afraid. Quiet, isn't it? I found it hard that she didn't have time for me. I wouldn't have been so much happier if she could have just forgotten about her friend, left it in the past, and got on with the present. I'm going back to my room. Misaki, you go back to your room, too. Go and be with your friend. You can remember now. Go on. It's okay. It's okay. Your fork. Someone seems like a jealous freak. What are we even fucking doing here? <laughs> no, seriously, what? Go be with your friend. <laughs> like, oh my god, are you fucking serious? <laughs> the Yuri is strong with this one. <laughs> Think we go back to our room? That, that, that gave you a hint when it said you go back to your room. Um, I'm trying to remember where her room was, though. Shit. Uh. Don't you cut you, cut you, me. How the fuck did I miss that? Christ. Gotta be kidding me. Yes, yeah, so that girl's gonna lead me to where I have to go. It is kinda neat in its own way if you don't know where to go because that girl will lead you. I feel like this game does hold your hand a lot more than the previous Fatal Frames. The previous Fatal Frames kinda did that also where they would be like, Oh, there's a thing you have to follow, but not all of them always did that. In Fatal Frame 5, they did that, where you could do the shadow reading bullshit. Um, with this game, I feel like they do hold your hand a lot more. Yeah, I think it's the third floor. Oh, my leg. Oh. Yeah, that girl's gonna fucking get my ass.
Here I am, I'm ready. Are you... Are you... Hmm. I guess that's not a thing? How is that not a thing? I find that absolutely fucking absurd. I tried to take a picture and it didn't mean anything, so I don't know. Almost. I wanna hold on to that. Keep hearing that sound from Fatal Frame 3. Then here. There's something in here. When it glows blue like that, it usually means that there's something. Misaki. Oh yeah, that was one thing I didn't do. Um, I had picked up a tape um, with... Uh, uh, Chashiro, and I didn't play the tape um, in one of my other videos. It's because I was pressed for time, and I didn't play it, so I guess I'll play it now, since I didn't last time. That, that guy, I believe, is a ghost. So, I don't know, sometimes it just sounds wrong when it's in Japanese. Like, oh, if you hear that out of context, it's just, like, hot. You kind of, like, raise your eyebrow, like, what the fuck? The medium. What the fuck? I shall we try the who? Yeah, so I think in my other video I read these. I don't know if I should read them again. So the mass disappearances incident in which the people of Rigetsu Isle disappeared in mass two years after the Rigetsu Kagura many bodies were found in the city of Rigetsu Hall while the rest of the islanders were never seen again. Um, so she get the Haibara. So he's 53. He was a doctor. He was both uh, the director of Haibara Infirmary and Rigetsu Hall. Um, runs Rigetsu Hall Sanatorium and High Bar Infirmary as head of the island, also in charge of local politics and ceremonies. Very influential person. Provides support for his son Yo's activities, both financial and otherwise. Maybe helping Yo stay hidden because he was wanted for murder. The missing girls were found in a cave underneath the infirmary, but Shigeto denied involvement. One of the men working on the underground expansion of the infirmary left a note confessing to the abductions before committing suicide. The case seemed to be closed. That was the... 
doctor. So the Moonlight Syndrome Research Slushgeto was combining medical science with local superstition and folklore in his efforts to treat Moonlight Syndrome. Treatment using masks? Question mark. Shoji seemed to have doubts about using special apparatus derived from folk medicine to treat Moonlight Syndrome. He found budding and blossoming to be disturbing terms. What is the right of descent or kokaiko the um kiraiko the rite of passage or ceremony of passage patches of ceremony um so hasagi i uh, hizuki age six moonlight syndrome patient condition deteriorated rapidly after a surgical procedure causing death extremely similar to the cases yohai bar was involved in i think it was that little girl I don't know, I really don't feel too great. I keep getting pains in my chest and everything. I've been kind of worried. I really hope I didn't catch the main virus again, but I haven't gone anywhere or done anything. So, but I've been feeling like weak and tired and I have similar symptoms, but I honestly don't know what it is. <sighs> Cause um, I think my mother's been suffering with the same lately. She said she started feeling sick again yesterday or the day before. And it was a virus that me and her had both caught from somewhere. And we don't know what it was. Because she went to the hospital, we were there all night, like, um, what was it, what, at the beginning of this month or last month, and they couldn't tell her what was wrong. They just told her she had a virus, but they said that it was, it was not, it wasn't COVID, they just said it was something else, so I have no idea what the hell is going on with that. So the brain surgery. Evidence shows that experimental treatments for Moonlight Syndrome were carried out using special equipment to stimulate the brain. Similar to Hybra's human experimentation murders, did this treatment share the same research purposes? I don't know. So the Rogetsu Kagura, an ancient ceremony that takes place once every 10 years on Rogetsu Isle. The maiden, or vessel, slips into a trance-like state and as she dances to the music played by the organs in recent times, a ceremony was made into a tourist attraction. People born on the island who move away from it are said to come back for the Rurugetsu Kagura every 10 years, no matter what. See, I've read some of these before, but I'm rereading them again in case. So the vessel, so the maiden who dances during the Rurugetsu Kagura, she puts on a mask and dances in the moonlight on a special stage. The vessel is the focus of the entire ceremony. And then the organ, so five young girls who play special kind of music during the Rurugetsu Kagura. Uh, girls are about the age of 10 are chosen to play each of the five parts, the vocal, flute, drums, strings, and bell. And the rite of descent, so the Rogetsu Kagura evolved, de evolved from an earlier, more primitive form called the rite of descent. The rite of descent was forbidden when it caused the great disaster to befall the island. It is feared by the locals and has not been performed for a long time. Something like that. So... Okay. There's still something glowing in here. I hear it I heard it light up. Is it this? Yeah, if you see me walking around and standing in place with the flashlight, it's because there's stuff that's supposed to appear. And I'm basically waiting for it. Damn it, I still don't have enough. While well, my push lens is completed. Misaki's been in this part yet. I want to say no. Is 
to. This is Ruka's room. I need to go to hers. I think this is hers. like a red wheelchair in a room somewhere. Find the red wheelchair from the photo. Yeah, I'll try. It is a bizarre virus because like my mom has it and she was saying how she gets like these pains in her back and I wasn't getting pains in my back and like now I am so I don't know what it is that's the thing they didn't tell us what it was let's just check all the doors I don't know what it is like I said all I can say is it's it's a fucking pain I'll tell you what because it comes and goes. See, it won't let me in any of the rooms. So Ruka is currently in there right now. Which is funny, because I don't know how she doesn't hear Misaki out here. I don't know how she doesn't hear her. But in the last chapter where we left off, um, my hair keeps getting caught on my mic and it keeps pulling it. Shit. Um... Basically... forgot what I was saying. Alright, um... My damn, I got so distracted, my hair keep clipping my fucking mind. Yeah, but where we left off last time playing, that's where she is. That's why I said I don't understand how Ruka doesn't know. Like, how does she not hear Misaki in the other room? That's a good camera angle. <laughs> see that wheelchair is gone now. Did you see their ghost images struggling? Oh, I guess I don't. You're right. Start saving twice.
It's Madoka, Misaki, and Ruka. The curse has been lifted! <laughs> So now there's gonna be some fucking trollage that's gonna happen out here. I wonder. Well, ah, here we go. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, she loves to fucking troll me. Yeah. Let's not worry about her for a minute, alright? Some fucking elaborate art. Yeah, that's her. The picture shows a black haired woman with a red ornament in her hair. She's holding a bunch of red flowers. Portrait of a woman. Her face hangs in shadow, making her expression difficult to read. Well, she's also fucking pixely. the doll again? There's a doll in here and I'm missing her. God, the fucking sound is oppressive in here. Where is she? Is she in the flowers? Find the wall. The painting shirt common features red flowers and blacked out faces. See how the expression changed? Waning moon key, maple leaves. The pattern on the waning moon room. I think this is the key to my room. It is. letter inside of it. I was born to die. Yeah. Alright. But you were different. We have the same blood in our veins, but you were alive. That was why you had to die while you were alive. If you can be alive while you're